murders, robberies, and brazen attacks. How lawmakers are fighting back against the recent string of violence in our state. Thanks so much for joining us here at 6. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Elizabeth Kling. Our news is also streaming live on CBS News Sacramento right now. Today, lawmakers voted on several bills prompted by a series of devastating crimes. CBS 13 investigative reporter Julie Watts has more on the bills, the votes, and the tragedies that prompted them. Julie. Yeah, guys, the Assembly Public Safety Committee voted today on a couple dozen bills ranging from gun control to theft. Several were prompted by recent high-profile murders. The gunman who killed his three daughters and a man chaperoning a supervised visit with them was in the country illegally. It was a horrific story, a mass shooting in a church that took three young lives and killed a church member. Then we learned the undocumented suspect had been arrested for assaulting a police officer, but was released shortly before the massacre. The sheriff's office says because of the state's so-called sanctuary law, it did not inform immigration officials he had been arrested. Assemblyman Kevin Kiley introduced AB 1708 in an effort to repeal that law, which currently prohibits local law enforcement from notifying ICE when releasing most undocumented immigrants. It is incumbent on us to revisit whether that is sound policy. But the bill faced opposition. I urge you to vote no. Respectfully in opposition. One of many that failed to pass out of the Public Safety Committee along a party line vote. No. Notably, the gun used in the church massacre is what's known as a ghost gun, an unregistered, often homemade gun. According to the DOJ, more than 20,000 were confiscated last year. Another bill, AB 1621, would regulate those gun kits and ban the sale of individual parts used to make ghost guns. 27 pages of people signing support of 1621. That bill did pass committee, but it was a somber walk to the podium for Kate Tibbetts' family. After the Assembly Public Safety Committee failed to pass a bill named in honor of the Land Park woman who was brutally murdered along with her dogs in her home. It's a crime that left the neighborhood stunned and ignited calls to change a broken system. The suspect, a homeless convicted violent felon who was on probation. With their vote, the Public Safety Committee has failed to protect victims from violent parolees. Tibbetts friends and family expressed disappointment after the bill failed to pass with a two to five vote. Opposed by groups ranging from the ACLU to the Public Defenders Association, it would have required high-risk transient parolees to wear an ankle monitor until they have an address. According to the bill's author, there are currently hundreds of transient parolees in Sacramento County alone. We go forward. This is not the last fight. It, it's a war. This is just one battle. Now, opponents of Tibbetts' bill raised Fourth Amendment due process and funding concerns. Ultimately, most of the bills either passed or failed today right along party lines.